Doobie people, hollow man, mud duck back at you. Setting up in the truck, taking a break from the crazy fucking bitch. She's jonesing again and getting goddamn weird on me. It's the first goddamn night she's ever talked back to me or raised her voice to me, and she's about ready to get her goddamn blonde ass knocked out. But you people see what I've been dealing with for the past fucking week. She's going downhill tonight. It's gone from being fairly reasonable to screaming and yelling at me. He wants you dead. Die, you motherfucker. Halfway across the goddamn room, she's screaming I'm killing her. And by looking at her, it's just... I'm making these videos as a record so I can show people what I'm dealing with. And if the cops ever get called, I can show the cops what I'm dealing with, yeah. So it's about 8.30 at night. I'm sitting out here in the truck, rolling up a few cigarettes, enjoying the peace and quiet, because I think she finally found enough dope to get her fucking fix. I'm pissed at her because I was showing her some coins the other day that I had that I was going to take up to the coin shop and sell. And she grabbed onto my 1942S Lincoln Head Cent wheat penny. Now, the goddamn thing, if it was in fine condition, extra fine condition, it's worth about 700 bucks for this penny. In the good condition that it's in, it's worth a couple hundred. And that's what I was going to use to live off of this month, and she can't find it. It was an old round plastic thing. She's saying, well, it fell out of her bra when she was asleep last night. Somebody come in last night and took it out of her bra while she was asleep. Well, I didn't see anybody down in her place last night. And I'll get the next motherfucker that shows up. I'm tired of this. She's screaming about the ex-boyfriend, Sean. She hasn't let the fucker know that she hooked back up with me again. It's one or the other, not both, dear girl. You can have one or the other, but not both. And they're screaming and yelling that she needs amputation. Her feet up. I'll tell you. Drug people are fun. They're a lot of fucking fun. Earlier tonight, she was, well, you're the only one that keeps coming back. You never leave me. Now she was going on about me being her brother. I'm not her fucking brother. She was good this afternoon. Went down. She was kind, loving. Glad to see me. Even after she screamed and yelled that her dad had called the FBI and was going to have me hauled off. And, and now she's kind, and you know, kind, loving. I mean, shit, banged her all over the goddamn trailer for about an hour. First video I have of her, she put a top on. She was sitting there the whole time with no panties on. Second video, I got her to put some panties on. And some of the private videos that I have downloaded is... her just running around naked. Yeah, well, I had to clear up some space on my phone, and I can't get my goddamn laptop to work. So I couldn't download them into the laptop, so I'll download them over to YouTube. Oh, damn, they got a pack rolled up here. 
I found that uh, I can do two things at once. I can roll cigarettes with the machine and I can fucking talk. And she don't like my mud duck voice. And I gotta roll up about it. Enough cigarettes where I can give her a couple of them and... I should roll her up a pack. That'd be nice of me. That'd be the nice thing to do, but... I don't know if I'm up to doing the nice thing to do right now. I just told her I'd give you an hour to play with your fucking dope and shoot yourself up, and I'll be down in about a fucking hour. After I check some things on YouTube, find out what's going on in the world, what's really going on, not what they're telling us. Uh, Blaze TV buying out CRTV and firing Gavin McGinnis. I don't see the fucking CRTV being around much longer. The only reason most people subscribe to it was for Gavin and get off my lawn. Well, and everything Glenn Beck touches. And I know fucking Glenn Beck. I knew him when he was in school around here. Hell, I was part of the search and rescue operation that went to recover his mother and her mother's and his mother's boyfriend's bodies out in fucking uh, Comaneros. That was like March, May, 73, 74, somewhere in there. Long time ago. Back in school, you want to make Glenn Beck spin? Ask him how the swimming lessons he got for his mother went. Yeah, I know the little freak, and I think he still owes me about uh, the price of an ounce of Colombian I fronted him way back when. And Glenn, I can still kick your ass. Okay, well, that's enough of that. I got to go down and check on the dumb fucking cunt.